military training at the EBK camp just outside Monrovia. Liberia is getting a new army. After 14 years of civil war that killed at least 150,000 people, elections in 2005 brought to power Africa's first female president. Two private American security companies have been contracted, including one, DynCorp, which has been embroiled in controversy in Iraq. The U.S. military does not allow instructors from the private companies to speak to the press, but an army official explained the training. Down in Monrovia during the All of that training is, that information is available to the public, and it, on request, training can be viewed by the public. Uh, the whole process is transparent. We answer, we entertain any request. Uh, I typically work six, seven days a week, uh, often on weekends, just for that reason, so that people have access. This is not the government's army. It's not the American army. It is the people of Liberia's army, and uh, they should know what it's all about. In this new army of several thousand soldiers, recruiters say they wanted to make sure there was a good balance of Liberia's ethnic groups. Former soldiers, even those who fought for former warlord turned president turned war crimes indictee Charles Taylor, can also join, but only if they didn't commit abuses themselves. They must go through the whole training process just like the other new recruits, as if they had never been in the army. We don't fight our own people unless you prove yourself to be the best enemy. And you have problem, but once you're peace-loving Liberian, this, this new military is trained to defend you. And that makes us different. This program will soon become part of the new U.S. security apparatus for Africa, called AFRICOM. The German-based U.S. Africa command structure should become fully operational by late 2008, even though it has yet to establish a base within Africa. It is a partnership. Uh, it is beneficial not only to the country to host it, but also to the entire continent, particularly the West African region where it has been the uh, epic center of conflict. So to have the, uh, an assistant that can build up local capacities and improve infrastructure. The rebuilding of Liberia's army is taking longer than expected. This recruitment started in 2006, but trainers say the new Liberian army needs more time. Meanwhile, UN peacekeepers still patrol Liberia. Trainers and recruits say reconciliation between the new army and war-scarred Liberians could take a while as well.